I tested an Alexapure Pro gravity-fed water filter system to see how well it performed. After so many requests from our viewers, I wanted to see how well the system dealt with contaminants both in treated city water and untreated river water. Is it a good choice for both daily use and emergency preparedness? Stay tuned to find out. As you look at the data, please keep in mind that these were just two real-life tests and the results are neither comprehensive nor conclusive. Before conducting the test, we ran 100 gallons of water through the system to ensure the filters were already well used. And for accurate results, we followed a strict sampling process that was provided by the lab. We filled a large bucket with the water sample, swirled it to ensure that it was well mixed, and then collected the pre-filtration sample directly from the bucket. Then the post-filtration sample was taken from the Alexa Pure itself. We'll look at the data using the health guideline level benchmark, which places a higher emphasis on human health and is a much stricter guideline than the federal MCL standard. In our city water test, the Alexa Pure performed extremely well in addressing aluminum, chloroform, copper, lead, manganese, and total THMs, which were all 100% removed. Barium was reduced by 43%, chloride by just 1%, sodium by 6% and sulfate by 16%. And there were a few substances that actually increased post filtration. But before I get into that, do me a quick favor, like this video and let me know down in the comments what other water filters you want us to test. And make sure you're subscribed so you get a notification the next time we upload a video. So interestingly, calcium increased by 84%, fluoride by 200%, magnesium by 81%, strontium by 40%, and potassium and silver appeared where they were absent in the pre-filtration test. However, the good news is none of these are over the health guideline level and a few don't actually pose any risk to human health. So we actually tested four similar stainless steel gravity fed water filters at the same time using the same water sample. And in all four tests, we saw a similar increase of these substances. The initial 100 gallons of water that we used to prime the filters for our test actually had elevated levels of a handful of these ions, which subsequently came out in the filtered water. And after speaking with the chemist at the lab, we determined that this effect is likely temporary and we do not suspect an issue with the filters. But of course, additional testing is required to confirm this hypothesis. And it was interesting to see that the fluoride, rather than being reduced, actually increased. This is most likely due to the same effect as the other ions, but still it's a bit disappointing to see as Alexapure claims up to 97% reduction of fluoride. And finally, the increase in silver concentrations can most likely be attributed to its presence in the filter media, where it serves for its bacteriostatic and bactericidal purposes. In the untreated river water test, the Alexapure completely removed all bacteria, including E. coli, and Terracoccus and total coliform. It also eliminated phosphorus and manganese and reduced aluminum by 66%, iron by 80%, and sulfate by 35%. The Alexapure Pro did a great job eliminating metals and disinfection byproducts from the city water and bacteria from the river water. And the discrepancy of the increased ions is not an issue specific to Alexapure as we saw similar data for all four of the systems we tested. If you're looking for a portable gravity-fed water filter for emergency preparedness or even just everyday use, then the Alexapure is a solid option to consider. It was surprising to see the filter didn't actually reduce fluoride at all. So if fluoride reduction is a top concern, you may want to consider something else. If you want to get your own water tested or purchase the Alexa Pure system, there are links to each down in the description. And if you enjoyed this one, stick around for one of our other stainless steel gravity water filter test videos coming up right now. Click or tap the screen to keep watching.